بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ ار یو مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس 2 مائی لٹل فرینڈس دس از یور سوشل اسٹڈیز کلاس آئی ایم یور سبجیکٹ ٹیچر ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریڈ یونٹ نمبر 8 پلانٹس اینڈ اینیملز اینڈ وی ول ریڈ دی لیسن نمبر 17 and 18 as well about the animal 17 is about the plants around us and 18 is animals around us so let's start with lesson 17 plants around us all of you knew that what are the plants plants are very important for us plants gives us oxygen which is very important for our lives without oxygen we cannot live oxygen is very important gas for plants uh, and for the animals and for the human beings plants also use a small amount of oxygen but they mostly use carbon dioxide okay let's start reading do you have a garden at home or in your school in a city many people do not have enough space for a garden so they grow plants inside the house have you ever seen the garden at home or in your school yes in our school there is no garden but many schools do have gardens and as well as the homes when the homes are very big on bigger areas they also include gardens but uh, where we are living we are living in a flat in apartments so we cannot or we do not have garden in our houses but look read again from here in a city many people do not have enough space for a garden just like us so they grow plants inside the house i will show you look if there is a space then there is garden just like this outside or this is the area including their house like this sometimes the area of the houses are very big so they make a small part of it as a garden how beautiful it is but many people do not have enough air space so they grow plants like in this way in a pot they grow plants and put inside the houses because they know plants are very important for us and if gardens are in the schools it seems like this in a small area for the kids there are swings other playable things in big colleges and universities like this tall trees and grassy land include in the area of colleges schools or universities okay okay in cities and towns there are parks taif is the city of parks you can find many parks in our city these are for everyone to enjoy there are also trees along the sides of the main roads plants are beautiful to look at and they are useful all of you knew that i told you that why plants are useful because plants gives us oxygen in cities and towns there are parks these are for everyone to enjoy there are also trees along the sides of the main roads i will show you some pictures look hurry up quickly find it which park is this all of you knew very well it's a alrudaf park in the city of taif it is one of the largest park in asia how beautiful is it all of you must have visited this park here is a look it's a dancing fountain 
and beautiful areas for sitting like this. In different cities and towns, there are parks for everyone to enjoy. And also there are tall trees at the side of the main roads, like in our city, because plants are very important. They give us shade, they protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, and they also give us oxygen. They also consume carbon dioxide, which is not very good for our health. So they consume carbon dioxide for their production. Okay. Plants keep the air clean. Look, as I told you, they consume the carbon dioxide and keep the air clean. Some plants have a pleasant smell like flowers. We can eat some plants too. All of you knew that we eat plants like spinach, cabbage, radish, cucumber, fruits. They come from different plants and trees. Some things that plants provide. What are these things? Homes for birds and animals. Wood. Shade. Nuts and fruits. Medicines. Perfumes and furniture from the plants provide what plants provide homes for birds birds live in different trees and plants they make their nest there and they live there and wood when we cut the trees we take the wood wood is used in making different furniture and also in making the doors and windows of the houses then shade, we can sit under the trees, shady trees and enjoy the weather. Nuts and fruits, medicines also come from plants. Not all the medicines, but mostly medicines come from the plants and perfumes from the flowers and also the furniture because furniture, most of the furnitures are made of wood. It's a very small lesson about the plants. Then we have question answers. In which ways are plants useful for us? How are plants useful for animals? Name some things that can be made from plants. Okay. In which ways are plants useful for us? Plants keep the air clean. They have a pleasant smell. We can eat some plants too. How are plants useful for animals? Animals eat plants too. Plants provide homes for some animals. As you read that birds make their nest in different plants and trees. Name some things that can be made from plants. Medicines, perfumes, and furniture can be made from plants. These are the three questions. You have to write these in your notebook and also you have to learn them. Then we have the work page. How many of these flowers can you name? You have to write the names they are given here under the picture of each flower. Let's see. This one is the rose. These flowers are carnation. Lotus. This one is lotus. Pansy. This is pansy. Marigold. This one is marigold. And jasmine, this is jasmine. This is, uh, then we have poppy. This one is poppy and daisy. This is daisy. It's better for you to learn the names of these flowers. Rose, carnation, pansy, jasmine, marigold, daisy, poppy, and lotus.
at us. Okay, children, this is the exercise A of your work page. Names of different flowers. Then we have name five plants that we can eat. Spinach, very yummy, vegetable and very healthy for you. It provides you iron and which gives you a lot of energy. Then lettuce, cabbage, cauliflower and broccoli. These all are the vegetables which comes from the plants. You can write many more fruits, names of the fruits like uh, apple, orange, banana. They also come from the plants and different trees. But they ask five, so I wrote here five for you. Spinach, lettuce, cabbage, cauliflower and broccoli. Very healthy food. Okay, that's done for page number 50, work page of lesson 17. Now we have lesson 18. That was plants around us. Now it's animals around us. Let's read. Wild animals live in the forests and jungles. They are shy and sometimes frightened of humans. Some are dangerous, like dangerous animals like lion, cheetah, tiger, bear. They are very wild and dangerous. Some are like giraffe, elephant, panda. They are shy and they are frightened of human beings. Some animals are not dangerous or fierce. They can be trained to work. We call these tame animals. Tame animals. Which animals we call tame? Which are not dangerous or fierce. They can be trained to work. We call these animals tame animals like Horse, as you all know, horse, bullock, ponies, elephant, camel, donkey. They are big in size, but they are not dangerous. They are friendly and they can be trained to work. Look like camel. You can ride on camel, donkeys, ponies, bullocks, and horse. Let's read horses, ponies, camels, and bulls, bull cars, and wagons. Donkeys, camels, and horses carry loads. Elephants move heavy logs because elephant is so big in size, those, and that's why they can move heavy logs. Let's read once again. Wild animals live in the forest and jungles. Where do wild animals live? They live in the forest and jungles. They are shy and sometimes frightened of humans. Some are dangerous. Which animals are dangerous? Like lion, tigers, wolf, Hyena, snake, they are dangerous. Some animals are not dangerous or fierce. They can be trained to work. We call these tame animals. These are dangerous animals and all these are tame animals. Like horses, ponies, camels and bulls. They can pull cards and wagons. Donkeys, camels, and horses carry loads. Elephants move heavy logs. Page 51 completed. Let's move to page number 52. Other animals help us in different ways. Here are some farm animals. Look first you read that forest and jungles they are wild animals then we have read about the tame animals now other animals help us in different ways 
Here are some farm animals. Now they are farm animals. Bulls, buffaloes, and horses are also kept on farms. Which animals? Bulls, buffaloes, and horses. Many more are kept in the farms, just like sheep, goat, chicken. They are also farm animals. Cows, buffaloes. <clears throat> We get wool from sheep and we can also eat the meat of the sheep. We get milk and meat from buffaloes, cows and goats. Let's read again. Other animals help us in different ways. Here are some farm animals. So the animals that help us in different ways we call them farm animals bulls buffaloes and horses are also kept on farms we get wool from sheep we get milk and meat from buffaloes cows and goats chickens are reared on poultry farms we use their eggs. We use eggs for in our breakfast and meat for food. Their feathers are used to fill pillows and make dusters. It's feathers. Egg we use for the breakfast and the meat. All you, I know that all of you love to eat chicken. Roast, nuggets, fried chicken, mm, yummy foods. Let's read. We must be kind to animals because they are living creatures and they are very useful to us. They cannot tell us, but they can also feel pain, hunger happiness and sadness in their own way let's read again we must be kind to animals why because they are living creatures and they are very useful to us that's why we must be very kind to animals they cannot tell us they because they cannot speak they cannot talk to us but they can also feel pain, hunger, happiness, and sadness in their own way. Okay, this lesson number 18, page 52, also done. Now we have question answers. You can complete your question answers of lesson 17 and 18 in two days, no problem. No need to write at one time. You can write question answer of lesson 17 today and question answer of lesson 18 tomorrow. Okay, children? Let's see which animals pull its cards. Let's do the correction here. One minute. It's cards. And this is question number three. This is question number four. And this question number five. Sometimes we do mistakes, so we have an option to correct it. No problem. Okay. Let's start again. Look. Now it's, oh, it's wrong again. One minute. It's... Look uh, how I'm doing the, it's cards. Now it's correct? Okay. Which animals pull cards and wagons? Now it's corrected. Horses, ponies, camels, and bulls pull cards and wagons. Which animals pull cards and wagons? Horses, ponies, camels, and bulls. 
apple, cart, and wagons. Question number two. What work do elephants do? Elephants move heavy logs. How are chicken useful to us? We use their eggs and meat for food. Question number four. Why should we be kind to animals? We must be kind to animals because they are living creatures and they are very useful to us. What are tame animals? Animals that are trained to work for us are called tame animals. This question answers five question answers you have to write in your notebooks and also memorize them okay now we have the work page talk about the animals mentioned on page 51 and 52 then fill in the following boxes some animals can be named in both the groups okay let's see here we get food from sheep goat cow Buffaloes, chicken, camel. You can eat the meat of these animals. Okay, we use these to move heavy goods, heavy things. Buffaloes, bullocks, donkeys, camel, horse, and elephant. You have to write these in word page exercise A of lesson 18. What is the next? Okay. Next exercise. We have the next exercise. One minute. Here it is. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there were. Here is the word page. Okay, that's it. Okay, the next exercise is about the coloring. You have to color these pictures. Okay. And then this color this picture and write a few sentences about it. Horse. Two persons are sitting and there is also their luggage is here. Okay, you have to color this picture. Then you have done this. We get food from sheep, goat, cow, buffaloes, chicken, camel. And we use these to move heavy goods, buffaloes, bullocks, donkeys, camel, horse, and elephant. Okay, children, that's it. Now we have five MCQs. You have to learn these for your exams. Dash are beautiful to look at. Plants, schools, or cities. So plants are beautiful to look at. Perfumes are made of tree, grass, or Flower. So flower is the correct answer. We get dash from cows and buffaloes. Milk, eggs or wool. We get eggs from cows? No, milk. Dash are used to get egg and meat from food. Chicken. We eat chicken's meat and also we use the eggs of the chicken. We must be dash to animals. We must be kind to animals. Okay, children, learn these MCQs. And also, I think you write this in your notebooks to revise them in your exams. Okay, children. Okay, that's all for today. We will meet, inshallah, in the next class. Take care of yourself.